Question 91.20 Questioner, the second observation is that we have a wand which has been seen as the power of the will. Will Ra comment? Answer, I am Ra. The concept of will is indeed pouring forth from each facet of the image of the matrix of the mind. The wand is the will, however, is, shall we say, an astrological derivative of the outreaching hand forming the, shall we say, magical gesture. The excellent portion of the image which may be seen distinctly as separate from the concept of the wand is that sphere which indicates the spiritual nature of the object of the will of one wishing to do magical acts within the manifestation of your density. Question 91.21 Questioner, the hand downward has been seen as seeking from within and not from without and the active dominance over the material world. Would Ra comment on that? Answer, I am Ra. Look again, O oh student. Does the hand reach within? Nay. Without potentiation the conscious mind has no inwardness. That hand, O oh student, reaches towards that which, outside its unpotentiated influence is locked from it. Question 91.22 Questioner, the square cage represents the material illusion and is an unmagical shape. Can Ra comment on that? Answer, I am Ra. The square, wherever seen, is the symbol of the third density illusion and may be seen either as unmagical or, in the proper configuration, as having been manifested within, that is, the material world given life. Question 91.23 Questioner, the dark area around the square, then, would be the darkness of the subconscious mind. Would Ra comment on that? Answer, I am Ra. There is no further thing to say to the perceptive student. Question 91.24 Questioner, the checkered portion would represent polarity? Answer, I am Ra. This also is satisfactory. Question 91.25 Questioner, the bird is a messenger which the hand is reaching down to unlock. Can Ra comment on that? Answer, I am Ra. The winged visions or images in this system are to be noted not so much for their distinct kind as for the position of the wings. All birds are indeed intended to suggest that just as the matrix figure, the magician, cannot act without reaching its winged spirit, so neither can the spirit fly lest it be released into conscious manifestation and fructified thereby. Question 91.26. Questioner, the star would represent the potentiating forces of the subconscious mind. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This particular part of this image is best seen in astrological terms. We would comment at this space-time that Ra did not include the astrological portions of these images in the system of images designed to evoke the archetypical light motifs. Question 91.27. Questioner, are there any other additions to card number one other than the star that are of other than the basic archetypical aspects? Answer, I am Ra. They are details of each image seen through the cultural eye of the time of inscription. This is to be expected. Therefore, when viewing the, shall we say, Egyptian costumes and systems of mythology used in the images it is far better to penetrate to the heart of the costume's significance or the creature's significance rather than clinging to a culture which is not your own. In each entity the image will resonate slightly differently. Therefore, there is the desire upon Ra's part to allow for the creative envisioning of each archetype using general guidelines rather than specific and limiting definitions. Question 91.28 Questioner the cup represents a mixture of positive and negative passions. Could Ra comment on that? Answer, I am Ra. The otic portions of this instrument's physical vehicle did not perceive a significant portion of your query. Please requery. Question 91.29 Questioner, there is apparently a cup which we have as containing a mixture of positive and negative influences. However, I personally doubt this. Could Ra comment on this, please? Answer, I am Ra. Doubt not the polarity, O oh student, but release the cup from its stricture. It is indeed a distortion of the original image. Question 91.30 Questioner, what was the original image? Answer, I am Ra. The original image heard the checkering as the suggestion of polarity. Question 91.31 Questioner, then was this a representation of the waiting polarity to be tasted by the matrix of the mind? Answer, I am Ra. 
This is exquisitely perceptive. Question 91.32 Questioner, I have listed here the sword as representing struggle. I am not sure that I even can call anything in this diagram a sword. Would Ra comment on that? Answer, I am Ra. Doubt not the struggle, O oh student, but release the sword from its stricture. Observe the struggle of a caged bird to fly. Question 91.33 Questioner, I have listed the coin represents work accomplished. I am also in doubt about the existence of the coin in this diagram. Could Ra comment on that please? Answer, I am Ra. Again, it doubt not that which the coin is called to represent, for does not the Mega strive to achieve through the manifested world? Yet release the coin from its stricture. Question 91.34 Questioner, and finally, the magician represents the conscious mind. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. We ask the student to consider the concept of the unfed conscious mind, the mind without any resource but consciousness. Do not confuse the unfed conscious mind with that mass of complexities which you as students experience, as you have so many, many times dipped already into the processes of potentiation, catalyst, experience, and transformation. Question 91.35 Questioner, are these all of the components, then, of this first archetype? Answer, I am Ra. These are all you, the student, see. Thusly the complement is complete for you. Each student may see some other nuance. We, as we have said, did not offer these images with boundaries but only as guidelines intending to aid the adept and to establish the architecture of the deep, or archetypical, portion of the deep mind. Question 91.36 Questioner, how is the knowledge of the facets of the archetypical mind used by the individual to accelerate his evolution? Answer, I am Ra. We shall offer an example based upon this first explored archetype or concept complex. The conscious mind of the adept may be full to a bursting of the most abstruse and unimaginable of ideas, so that further ideation becomes impossible and work in Blu-ray or Indigo is blocked through overactivation. It is then that the adept would call upon the new mind and touched and virgin, and dwell within the archetype of the new and unblemished mind without bias, without polarity, full of the magic of the logos. Question 91.37 Questioner, then you are saying, if I am correct in understanding what you have just said, that the conscious mind may be filled with an almost infinite number of concepts but there is a set of basic concepts which are what I would call important simply because they are the foundations for the evolution of consciousness, and will, if carefully applied, accelerate the evolution of consciousness, whereas the vast array of concepts, ideas, and experiences that we meet in our daily lives may have little or no bearing upon the evolution of consciousness except in a very indirect way. In other words, what we are attempting to do here is find the motivators of evolution and utilize them to move through our evolutionary track. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. Not entirely. The archetypes are not the foundation for spiritual evolution but rather are the tool for grasping in an undistorted manner the nature of this evolution. Question 91.38 Questioner, so for an individual who wished to consciously augment his own evolution, an ability to recognize and utilize the archetypes would be beneficial in sorting out that which he wishes to seek from that which would be not as efficient a seeking tool. Would this be a good statement? Answer, I am Ra. This is a fairly adequate statement. The term, efficient, might also fruitfully be replaced by the term, undistorted. The archetypical mind, when penetrated lucidly, is a blueprint of the builded structure of all energy expenditures and all seeking without distortion. This, as a resource within the deep mind, is of great potential aid to the adept. We would ask for one more query at this space-time as this instrument is experiencing continuous surges of the distortion you call pain and we wish to take our leave of the working while the instrument still possesses a sufficient amount of transferred energy to ease the transition to the waking state, if you would call it that. Question 91.39 Questioner, since we are at the end of the matrix of the mind I will just ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. Each is most conscientious. 
the instrument might be somewhat more comfortable with the addition of the swirling of the waters with spine erect. All other things which can be performed for the instrument's benefit are most diligently done. We commend the continual fidelity of the group to the ideals of harmony and thanksgiving. This shall be your great protection. All is well, my friends. The appurtenances and alignments are excellent. I am Ra. I leave you glorying in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.